On February 17, a newly published paper based on the latest observation from the James Webb Space Telescope suggests that our universe may have actually emerged from inside a black hole. Many different theories have been proposed about the origin of our universe. Some suggest a cosmic egg exploding. Others describe a singularity expanding. Some propose that a black hole transformed into a white hole and rebounded. There are even ideas of chaotic dispersal. Among all these models, the Big Bang Theory has been the most widely accepted and best supported by evidence. Observations such as the cosmic microwave background radiation and the expansion of the universe seem to confirm the Big Bang model. However, some scientists have remained cautious. They argue that with our current level of technology, the Big Bang is simply the best explanation we have, but it may not be the final truth. The arrival of James Webb has made this cautious perspective more relevant. As the most advanced telescope ever sent into space, it continues to reveal astonishing details about the early universe. The more observations accumulate, the more JWST challenges conventional cosmology and brings unexpected hypotheses into consideration. These new findings do not yet completely disprove our existing model. However, they force us to question key aspects of it. For example, JWST has detected galaxies in the early universe that appear much larger and more mature than expected. This discovery challenges standard cosmological models. But JWST has done more than that. Its data has started to provide support for theories that were once seen as purely speculative, such as the idea that our universe might actually exist inside a black hole or even have emerged from one. Things are starting to change. On February 17th, a peer-reviewed paper published in Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society based on JWST observations suggests that our universe may have actually been born inside a black hole. Yes, you heard that right. We could be inside a black hole or have emerged from one. This is not a new idea. It was first proposed in 1972 by theoretical physicist Raj Kumar Pathria and mathematician I.J. Good. If you had picked up Nature magazine in March 1972, you would have found all the details in an article titled The Universe as a Black Hole. Since then, Igor Novikov in 1973 and Nikodem Poplowski from 2006 onwards have further developed this idea, using torsion-based space-time models to support the hypothesis. Now, after 53 years, the first direct observational evidence may finally be emerging. Torsion-based cosmology is not as widely known as Big Bang Theory but it offers important insights into the nature of the universe. If you don't need a detailed explanation of these models and want to skip straight to the observation results, you can check the video description for the exact timestamp. If you have found this video interesting so far, consider subscribing to our channel and liking the video. It really helps us out. Now, let's get back to the topic. These types of models are called torsion-based space-time models. They suggest that instead of a singularity inside a black hole, there could be an expanding universe. But what exactly is torsion? The easiest way to understand it is to imagine a screw or a spiral structure. A screw not only rotates around its axis, but also moves forward. Torsion describes space-time bending and twisting in a similar way. Unlike classical black hole models, torsion-based systems do not simply collapse inward. Instead, they have the potential to bounce. So, if our universe was formed inside a black hole, rather than collapsing into nothingness, it might have expanded into a new space-time. Summary. Torsion-based models suggest black holes might avoid singularities through a rebound, mechanism potentially birthing new universes. Our universe could have formed from matter rebounding inside a black hole from another universe. How this model aligns with James Webb Space Telescope observations. According to these models, matter falling into a black hole in another universe doesn't collapse into a singularity. Instead, torsion, a twisting and rotating of space-time, triggers a rebound effect. The Big Bang marks the moment this rebound sparked the expansion of new space-time. This expansion could manifest as a white hole in the parent universe. If proven that we exist inside our galaxy's central black hole, rather than outside it, would it truly shock us? Just as humanity once believed atoms were indivisible only to discover subatomic particles, we might one day accept our universe's black hole origins without fanfare. Science evolves, and so does our awe. Scientists analyze the spin directions 
of 263 early universe galaxies observed by James Webb. Classical physics predicts nearly equal numbers of clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. For example, if 132 galaxies spun clockwise, around 131 should spin counterclockwise. But the data revealed 158 clockwise and 105 counterclockwise, a clear imbalance. This asymmetry challenges cosmological principles stating the universe should be homogeneous and isotropic at large scales. Like flipping a coin 20 times and getting 15 heads and 5 tails, the early universe's galaxy spins defy statistical expectations. A preference for counterclockwise rotation emerged, suggesting unknown physical processes or biases in the cosmos's infancy. The cause remains unclear. Two leading theories are being explored. Either the early universe had inherent anisotropies violating current models, or observational biases in galaxy formation studies skewed the results. Either way, these findings demand a reevaluation of how cosmic structures evolve and what forces shape their behavior. For now, the mystery deepens. Each JWSD observation peels back layers of cosmic history, revealing surprises that push us closer to rewriting physics itself. First possibility. The Big Bang might have occurred with rotation. However, the current Big Bang theory does not include such a motion. If this is the case, the Big Bang model would need to be revised. Second possibility, a much more intriguing scenario. Physicist Nikodem Poplowski has been working on the idea that our universe might have been born inside a black hole. His views on the rotational asymmetry of galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope are quite remarkable. As we know, Black holes usually form from rotating stars, dense masses at the centers of galaxies, and globular star clusters. Since all these structures exhibit rotational motion, black holes should naturally rotate as well. If our universe is inside a black hole, or if the Big Bang resulted from a black hole transitioning into a white hole, then this new universe would inevitably inherit a rotational axis from the original black hole. According to Poplowski, the asymmetric galactic rotation detected by James Webb could be a relic of the black hole's original spin direction. If this is true, this inherited motion might have shaped the dynamics of galaxy rotation in the early universe. To make this more concrete, a black hole rotating clockwise is about to transition into a white hole. The white hole's expansion triggers our universe's Big Bang. And the universe's expansion follows the same dominant clockwise direction as the original black hole's acceleration. This dominant rotational expansion would be much stronger in the early universe, but would gradually decrease as the universe ages, eventually reaching a statistically balanced 50-50 distribution in later stages. For this reason, the closer we look to the early universe, the more pronounced this rotational asymmetry should be, while in later epochs, this asymmetry should diminish. If this hypothesis is confirmed, it could serve as strong evidence that our universe exists inside a black hole or emerge from one. Poplowski's explanations are certainly noteworthy, but drawing conclusions about the entire universe for just 263 galaxies is premature. Additionally, some scientists argue that Poplowski's theory does not fully align with key observations such as the universe's expansion rate and the cosmic microwave background radiation. Nevertheless, Poplowski appears to see these findings as long-awaited validation. But to support such claims, a significantly larger number of observations is needed. This hypothesis is fundamentally based on the idea that our universe exists inside a rotating black hole. And if this is true, the increase in rotational asymmetry in the early universe would serve as crucial supporting evidence. When viewed from this perspective, the study indeed shows that rotational asymmetry becomes more noticeable as we look further back in time. So, while 263 galaxies are not enough to definitively prove that our universe was born from a black hole, the fact that asymmetry is more pronounced in the early universe strengthens the possibility that the Big Bang might have been a great bounce originating from a black hole. However, there is no full consensus on this in the scientific community. Some cosmologists consider the observed galactic rotation asymmetry a statistical error or a result of insufficient sampling. For example, some astronomers argue that the number of galaxies observed by JWST so far may not be sufficient to represent the overall structure of the universe. 
as more data is collected, this asymmetry might converge toward a random distribution, revealing it as a statistical anomaly. In summary, this topic remains controversial, and reaching a definitive conclusion requires further observations. James Webb continues to reshape our understanding of cosmology. See you in our next video.